Hey there, I am so excited for today's video and before I get into it, please hit subscribe, please hit like and comment below if anything that I'm talking about today is deeply resonating with you. When it comes to container expansion and expanding your container to hold more, to receive more, by actually not restricting it, by not making your container go down. Before I get started, I want to kind of let you know what it means by container work. And container work is basically another word for it is our upper limit. So we have upper limits for money, we have upper limits for business, for clients, for love, for health, for, for our body weight, for everything. And when we start hitting the limit of what we feel like we can actually hold, what we can, our nervous system is able to hold energetically, we will find ourselves subconsciously sabotaging, bringing ourselves back down again. So this is where you might inadvertently realize at the moment that you're making more money than you're used to making in your business, you suddenly feel like hibernating, hiding, not wanting to show up or not feeling enjoyment in your business. You might feel like picking fights with your partner at the moment that you're making more money just to kind of subconsciously stabilize your container all over again. And what I really want to talk about today is many people block further abundance and money and riches and whatever it is that they desire to come into their field by actually restricting and contracting their container. And the way that you people do this is every time you have a desire, every time you have this feeling of this would be so amazing for me to have. I would love to have this in my business. I would love to have this in my life. And you second guess it. You push that desire down. You dampen it down. You question it. You belittle it. You say to yourself, who am I to have that? That person over there can have it, but I can't have it. Who am I to have that? I'm not worthy of having that. Every time you do that to any desire that comes in your, in your mind or in your body, you're actually pushing away any for other forms of abundance coming to you. So of course you're going to push away that desire to come to you, but you're also pushing away other things that are on their way to you. And this is like a practice that this is such a like powerful practice for you to exercise in expanding your container over time. That every time a desire comes to you, even if it feels outrageous, oh my God, I would love to actually spend... 30 days in the Maldives right now, right, right this minute. I would love to just jump on a plane right now and just go and spend 30 days there. I mean, if it feels really ludicrous like that, if you just acknowledge it and hold space for it in yourself, in your body, you're automatically going to be exp expanding your container and expanding your consciousness to receive more. It doesn't mean that you're trying to make it happen straight away. All it means is that you're letting it live in you. You're letting it, the, giving it the space it needs to breathe to fill you up a little bit and to expand you more. So let's say that example that I just said, or you're eyeing up a bag that you really want, or you're really desiring to hit multi five, six figure months in your business. As soon as that desire comes up for you, what do you do? Do you question it? Do you push it down? Do you tell yourself that you can't have it? Do you tell yourself this is, I'm, I'm too new to this. I can't have this much money straight away or she can have it, I can't have it. Do you stop dreaming so big? Do you start asking yourself, well, how is it gonna happen? It can't happen for me, how is it gonna happen? Like the earth would, you know, the moon needs to come down to the earth and the stars need to, you know, fall off the sky for me to have something like that. Or I need to have a blue moon to have something like that happen. Do you go into all of these kind of stories into yourself? Do you kind of push it away? Like, so silly for me to think like that. So silly for me to think that I could have that. What this does is it blocks that desire and other things that are on the way to you and it restricts your container and constrains it. What you're also subconsciously doing is you're not opening up to the abundance flow, the blessings that God is flowing your way already because you're starting to put doubt into other things. And that doubt energy will start seeping through, start leaking in, in those other things that are on their way to you. So really allow yourself to feel when these things come up. Bring radical presence, bring radical attention to your body. 
So let's do this right now. Let's do it experientially right now. Think of something. Think of any desire that you want right now. What is something that will just feel so good for you right now? No, even if it feels so outrageous. And bring attention to your body. What does it feel like? What's the first thing that you feel? And most probably, it's probably a lightness in your heart. This ex sort of feeling expansion. Ooh, that, that, that feels exciting. A goosebump, a tingle in your heart. Listen to that invitation of that desire. Give space to the invitation of that desire. Now listen to the next thing that your body does. Do you abandon it? Do you feel like you're trying to make that thought go away? Do you, do you say somebody else can have it, not me? It's too greedy for me to have that. What stories does your mind jump in and create around it? And again, let me say that you don't have to act on these desires immediately. You just have to let them in, allow them space. Let it be that, okay, yeah, this is something that I can create space for. This is something that I'm going to invite in, open the door for, and let it just sit with you. And just by doing that, just letting it sit in the room with you, you're immediately expanding your container to receive more, to receive that thing or other things that you that are more on the top of your desire list or more on the, of the things that you feel like, no, I want these things now. So I hope this video was really useful for you. I'm really looking forward to creating more YouTube videos very soon. And if you haven't already binge watched my other videos, I have created a free masterclass playlist. I'll add that somewhere here. And feel free to look at all my other videos as well on the energetics of money, on visibility, and the different wounds that might be showing up in your business as well. So catch you in the next one.